Yo. So my people, it is time to get into sneak peek day number one. And I gotta be honest, I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. I'm gonna be trying to do something a tiny bit different this season of sneak peeks. We're about to get into some pretty dang interesting information, that's for dang sure. But the reason I wanted to make an intro much like this one is because I wanna be as useful as possible. It's kinda like my MO here on YouTube inside the Brawl Stars community. I try to be here for you guys. And I've been having a little bit of a hard time with sneak peeks here as of recently with updates, seeing that it's hard for me to feel like I'm doing much good here for the community when I'm talking about or regurgitating the same information that 20 other content creators talk about, right? So today we're going to be focusing at least a little bit on things that I find incredibly important that I feel like the dev team failed to mention or aren't in the patch notes. So it's fair to say with this update that there's a lot of stuff coming out and it is quite the hype update. For goodness sakes, this Brawl Talk in 21 hours has gotten 14 million views. Brawl Stars has not been popping off this much in gosh knows how long. I think it's popping off more than it's ever have. But with this Brawl Talk came a very first, something that is making my life very difficult recently when it comes to like speculation, covering updates and things like that. The dev team's up and up their game. They're doing new things. And this time around is really, really exciting because seeing that we're on the very first day of the sneak peeks, the content creators are allowed to take a look at the patch notes, right? And cover update details. So the very first day for these sneak peeks, the content creators literally verbatim are allowed to show you everything in the update besides the new brothers. So it's safe to say there's a lot to go over in a video much like this, but specifically I was waiting for this day to gain access to the patch notes to see if we would get any details on a very mysterious change coming to Brawl Stars that has no context whatsoever coming out in this update footage that is kind of crazy. So in the Brawl Talk there was a few questionable frames that several people glaringly found there was some unaddressed hypercharges being played. Now this is really, really strange because once again, I waited for the patch notes to be released here today to get the full list of hypercharges and we already know what the hypercharges are. Every single hypercharge that was announced in the Brawl Talk is in the patch notes coming to the game. No extras being addressed whatsoever. However, in the footage, as you can see here from a screenshot, we have Frank with a hypercharge, bro. So taking a look at some of the footage where it is at roughly. Here at the 55 second mark around, we can see for a brief moment during the, the new game mode coming to the game, we can see some bots playing the game mode itself, but we see clear as day hypercharge symbols around Frank here. And it's super obvious. It's really telling that I feel like it's intentional at this point when the dev team does stuff like this. I mean, it's not even something that we have to figure it out with just like the symbols underneath the playable character. We can actually see the rotating effect of Frank having the hypercharge on his character. He just has to press the button and get the effects. Now, a lot of people were raving about Frank this entire time because, dude, I can't imagine what a Frank hypercharge would look like, but several people didn't end up noticing around the three minute and 55 second mark. Thanks for the timestamps, everyone, absolute legends. But we have another second hypercharge here that was not released in the patch notes. We have Barley up here. It's not as obvious as Frank's with the hypercharge animation movements or anything like that, but we can see clear as day the symbol that he has a hypercharge on his character. Whereas opposed to a brawler that doesn't have a hypercharge, we have Bo here, he doesn't have that symbol. Symbol. Bizarre, super, super strange. It makes me anxious whenever like new footage comes out, needing to comb through the entire Brawl Talk now, now that we got this type of stuff. If we miss something, I'm sure it'll come to the forefront. The Brawl Stars communities are literally detectives. We find things. But yeah, again, this is a very first inside of Brawl Stars. Now, of course, seeing that we have access to the dev build, we can 100% confirm things like this, right? We can come here seeing plain as day, Frank does not have a hypercharge on his his character and the brawlers that are getting them have hypercharges installed. This is basically a pre-patched build, which will be available to all of you guys once the update is here. And as I said before, waiting for the patch notes here today, the 14 pages of patch notes, we can see the full listing of new hypercharges, which just relays the information from the Brawl Talk. We have Brock's, Sandy's, Nita's, Max's, Jean's, and Tick's. So then the question is, is why in the world do we have footage and gameplay of Frank with a hypercharge as well as Barley with a hypercharge here? This would imply that they're making hypercharges way in advance. Or if we take this theory to another level, 
level, I would say, you could argue that the dev team have a lot of hypercharges already made. It's pretty dang wild that the dev team would already have a playable ability with the animations and it applied to gameplay footage months before it's going to be released, right? If we don't have this hypercharge now, the only feasible outcome would be that it would be applied in the very next update, right? Or possibly maybe like a surprise event or a surprise release of a Frank hypercharge and a Barley hypercharge or something like that. Who the heck knows? But yeah, man, I wanted to give my two cents on that at least before we get into a few other details here, which we are going to be coming through. Basically, like I said before, we can go over literally everything in the update. So I'm going to piece out the things that I'm most excited for. And that is obviously the mutations and the entire list of them and the balance changes very, very briefly. So by far, the most exciting feature coming in this update for me is mutations. Mutations are abilities that are going to be applied to 40 different brothers that will only be available in specific game modes. Game modes will randomly pop up when they have this modifier, the mutations. We are able to utilize the brothers that we get these mutations for unlockable in these monster eggs. Monster eggs you can get just by playing the game, much like star drops here, as well as playing the new Godzilla City Smash event. These things are really freaking cool when you open it. Gotta slash it up. We got a super rare. Keep slapping. An epic. Nice, dude. Nice. And hey, we got a freaking mutation right off the go for Bo. Mutated for 47 days. Don't pay attention to any durations in dev build. Things are all wacky over here. This is not how long it's going to last. But we found our very first mutation from a monster egg, which is the only place you'll be able to get mutations at, right, in the game. Let's open up a few more. Okay, we got a rare. We got power points that time around. Keep on opening. We got a super rare. Ooh, another mutation, dude. If the drop rates are this easy, out of a monster eggs. That's what I like to see, dude. That drop rate ain't bad whatsoever. But it also brings up an interesting point that we made in yesterday's video. If it comes to buying monster eggs with gems, it might not be 100% worth it for a limited time power up these mutations. These are not going to be permanent, so it might not be worth <laughs> using your gems on something that's going to be out of the game here in a little bit, right? We got a mutation out of a rare? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. We got crows there. We've gotten like four mutations. Yeah, guys, if this is the drop rate, I would not buy <laughs> these monster eggs with gems. We're seeing Bell's mutation there. Pretty dang cool. Okay. Anything else? Okay. 100 coins. Any more mutations, bro? Yep. That's crazy. This drop rate's insane. It's making me believe this is not going to be the drop rate. Now, if we come over here now to our brawlers, we can see all the brawlers that have a potential mutation on their character, right? We have these little symbols by Shelly, Nita, and Colt. We have this one locked on Shelly, but when we click on the icon, it showcases all the mutations that we currently have unlocked, as well as what they do if we click on them, which we will be going over here shortly. But the ones that we do have mutations for, they're glowing in this like weird ominous yellow color, which I absolutely door and the background's different. Mutations are just dope, dude. Now we can see Poco's here. Poco heals himself and allies around him over time when getting hit. Poco's is pretty dang insane, but that's not an exception. All of the mutations here are pretty dang wild, and it's going to be a while, and it's going to be interesting to figure out which one is, like, the most busted, right? Because there's some that are pretty dang crazy. Ticks head first now spawns two additional tick heads, dude. That's his super three tick heads coming at you with this mutation what but running through here really really quick it's not as flashy just looking at the patch notes but dude it's gonna take us a long time to get through 40 different things plus freaking balance changes so we gotta hurry this up right but we can see shelly and nita's here shelly shotgun fires twice nuts nita super summons two bears bro what the frick mutations are gonna be crazy and then we have this nuts laundry list why don't we go through these here first i'm just gonna leave these up on the screen so you guys can pause it read through it take a look at what you want to look at it's just we do not have enough time to go through 40 different abilities here okay but then here is the huge huge list of the remainder 40. once again make sure to pause your screen have a read through all of them make sure you know what they all do and once the update is live we'll be able to go through every single ability ourselves just through that navigational area you click on the mutation icon that's locked go over there you can click on every single one of the brawlers and what they end up doing with their mutation 
But yeah, man, super, super entertaining. I cannot wait. This is the thing that I'm looking forward to by far the most. The new brawlers are cool, the new game mode's cool and stuff like that, but I just want mayhem with the mutations in those game modes. It's going to be so much fun. I need to hear from you guys in the comments down below, which mutation are you least looking forward to? Which one are you nervous about? For me, it's the tick. That tick mutation is gonna give me nightmares, bro. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. But aside from that, we are going to quickly go through the balance changes in my impressions. Starting off with the buffs here, taking a look at the patch notes itself, we're starting off with Gus. Shielding now knocks back opponents. Pretty cool. Mr. P, spawner movement speed increased 800 to 1000, as well as the spawner home base increased with the HP. My boy Mortis out here getting some love. Basic attack damage increased 940 to 1000. Very good. And gadget combo spinner damage increased by the same metrics. Moving along through Willow and Barley, two different lobbers, we have some buffs to the star powers that Willow has. Barley's basic attack damage increased 760 to 800, and super damage, same metric. Rosa, hyper got a buff charge rate increase from 40 to 50 percent and then janet's super damage increase from 600 to 800 not a bad list of buffs now i'm even more excited about the nerfs a lot of brawlers that need a nerfs are getting hit with it we have angelo here at the top super poison damage from arrows decreased by 50 percent thank you charlie as well thank goodness super gain from basic attacks decreased six to seven hits to charge super and basic attack range decreased from 27 to 25. charlie has been a menace for a very long time in this meta piper getting a nerf hammer as well basic attack damage at a minimum distance decreased 23 to 20 percent nani's basic attack is getting a damage decrease from 800 to 740. Cord getting some nerfs here as well. Basic attack, both of them damage decreased as well as basic attack supercharge rate is reduced. I wasn't aware Cord was ridiculous in the meta or anything like that. I thought he was pretty strong brother, but supposedly he's been doing good. Spike, our boy, basic attack damage decreased 560, 540, and gadget popping pincushions damage decreased here. Bell's hypercharge got a supercharge rate decrease from 50 to 40%, and then Melody's gadget interlude shield per note damage decreased from 15 to 10%. Not as much shield, and then her star power fast beats, movement speed per note decreased from 8 to 6%. I don't know if that's like enough for Melody. Melody's pretty dang crazy. But yeah, a list of nerfs here. Where's the Poco nerf? Huh? But then we also have changes here. Got some reworks going on. Crow. Crow's daggers now return properly after hitting walls during his hypercharge super. Very good. Crow's hypercharge is one of the worst in the entire game. Kit getting a lot of reworks here, and I think it's deserving as well. Gadget. Cardboard box stealth duration reduced 5 to 3 seconds. Basic attack damage increased 800 to 1,000, and then the super damage increased 800 to 1,000. Kind of just sounds like buffs for Kit. But dude, man, after they absolutely nuked him from his pedestal when he was like one of the best brawlers in the game, he has been one of the most useless brawlers in the game. So happy about those changes. Next, we have RT Gadget in line, out of line, instantly charges the super. Next up for Hank, Hank super now heals 50% of his missing HP. That is crazy. And HP reduced from 5,800 to 5,400. A huge rework. Hank super is actually really good. And then we have Chuck here, which I really, really enjoy. Can throw new posts while dash is available tap to dash aim to throw new posts beautiful such a good rework for chuck i'm really really liking overall this update everything that has to offer there's so much exciting things to look forward to whether it's the new brawlers these mutations the balance changes we have so many crazy skins which we just didn't have time for to go over in this episode but i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about everything that we discussed here today this update is looking like a huge w to me dude but yeah that's just about all we have time for here in this episode today be sure to let me know what you guys are thinking and we'll be talking super soon. Adios and take care.